I'll tell you this. Some of those people that weren't around those times, we got to stop listening to these blogs that talk about, like, oh, well, this is what I heard. If you weren't there, how are you going to talk about it? You know, what pisses me off is, like, I just heard a report that they were trying to say that Christopher Williams was in the P. Diddy's office doing some, you know what I'm saying? Chris ain't like that. You know what I'm saying? Chris, you know, Chris's family. He's my family. He, Chris ain't like that. And, and honestly... I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna sit here on, on Boss Talk. I know it wasn't Chris at the office. I know it wasn't. Cause you know who it was. I know it was. I trust me. It was not Chris. And I know. And and I knew. I know. And I know the situation that happened. But and nothing like that. And whatever the person saying happened didn't even happen. Yeah, we on Boss Talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. I want to ask you, and, and and that's dope, man. Like I said, you know God is real. I want to ask you about the. T- I want to I want to ask one more question okay, about the ahead. P Diddy thing. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Um, okay, because you are a celebrity, you've been to multiple celebrity parties. Okay, yeah, party, and and, and 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 people always jump on P Diddy parties, P Diddy parties, but in my mind, a lot of these celebrity parties are just the same. Is that true? Like like. I mean, it just, it just depends all, on the circle. They all can get wild. Circle. It depends on the circle that you're at. Okay. Because it's not just celebrity parties. And it's not just... It's regular, it's regular parties as well. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's just that... Um, it's just. I mean, they're just people that... See, we forget celebrities just people. But when I say and celebrities, they, because I know... But they no, have, but I see what you're saying, but they have people a, have a, the, a certain enchilada of, of and parties. they have the money. Yeah. And it's just like people are competitive. So I come to your party and your party banging and you doing all of this. I'm going to be like, oh, I'm going to upstage you. I need to do something, what you're doing, plus more. Yeah. And do you I'm, see that a lot? I remember, no, I'm a, and he, I hope you don't get mad at me. Telling. I remember when, uh, I won't say his name. I remember when a young gentleman mm-hmm. who got famous, he's an actor, a singer, his sister's a big time singer. And he got famous for a video. I remember when he was younger, I kind of chaperoned him a couple of times at a party. Okay. A Hollywood party. And, you know, and and this is what's the trip. I have a friend who's a big time singer. Y'all know who he is. Mm-hmm. And I found out that he was on drugs. Okay. And At that time? No, no. He, I mean, he, you know, he dibbled and dabbled. Okay. He, he was on drugs. And I used to hang around him. And I said, I never knew you were on drugs. I didn't, that bad. He was strung out. Didn't ever know it. He hit it well. Yeah. And I said, Well, why why didn't why didn't you let me know? And why didn't you invite me? Because <laughs> you no, know, I was that I was cool with him like that. Right. And you know what he told me? He said it was something about you, Deuce. Something about you that because I found out there were a couple of my friends in the industry that used to do it. And they used to hide it from me. They used to go, see, so this is what happens in parties. They have back rooms. So 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 don't so people can't tell me oh I was out and they was doing it in front no there's back rooms people know who to go to which back room mm-hmm. they know who will go they know who won't go and I was never really invited to some of those back rooms you know what I'm saying to some of those back rooms yeah so you got invited to some, <laughs> no, um, some. but I wasn't invited like especially those I wasn't invited to mm-hmm. I remember um, um, my brother uh, my brother I remember I went to a party. In LA, back in the day, it was when I was first coming up, and I went to a room where they had these big time celebrities. All right, cool. I can't tell you. You know he's not going to tell. But I mean, I'm just and it had some. some It'll mess some things up. They had some yeah. basketball people in there that were really, really huge, huge, okay. huge. Mm-hmm. When I say huge, I mean it's like I know exactly what you're talking about. And they were doing, they were doing, they were, they were, they were doing some drugs, recreating, you know, some drugs, and I was back there, mm-hmm. and. My brother heard that I was in this back room. My brother must have bust the door open. He said, oh no, bring your butt right here. And uh-uh. it was embarrassing, but he took me out. When I looked back, I saw there was a tray. And I saw the stuff on the tray. And he was like, believe me, you were gonna do it. And I said, no, I wasn't, no, I wasn't. And he was like, yeah. And sometimes I think, I think the reason why I didn't get some of my money at the time, and I didn't get some of the Because things, you weren't involved in all of that? No. Because God knew I was not strong enough at that time. See, he was protecting me this whole time. Because if I would have went back there, think about it. If I would have did it, I might not be here today. Yeah. I, might be, I really feel like if I would have got all that money, I would have been dead probably. Because I listened to a lot of people. I wanted to, you know, I, 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 like to, I like to go out. I like to kick it. You know what I'm saying? So, 
you know, and 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 um, were and, you the type of person who liked to be accepted back then? I don't know because I was. My mama would tell you I'm a weird. I was a weird child. I was one of them kids that I could go to the movies by myself, <laughs> and nobody in my family understood that. I would have a great time at the movies by myself. So I've always been like, you know, what I'm saying like, like. So I've always that. I was always that person that I didn't have a click, but I had several clicks because I fit in different clicks. Mm -hmm. I could just. You know, I could just, I go, you know, yeah, I could just go here, 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 here. You know, some people couldn't, couldn't go. I go with the nerds. I go with the cool people. All that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? I just, that just was me. Wow. Um, but I will tell you this: some of those people that weren't around those times, we got to stop listening to these blogs that talk about, like, oh, well, this is what I heard. If you weren't there, how are you gonna talk about it? You know, what pisses me off is like, I just heard a report that they were trying to say that Christopher Williams was in the P. Diddy's office doing some, you know what I'm saying? Chris ain't like that. You know what I'm saying? Chris, you know, Chris is family. He's my family. He, Chris ain't like that. And and honestly, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm going to say here on Boss Talk, I know it wasn't Chris at the office. I know it wasn't. You know who it was. I know it was. I trust me, it was not Chris. And I know, and... And I knew, I know, and I know the situation that happened, but and nothing like that. And whatever the person saying happened didn't even happen. I don't like it that y'all try to play like y'all don't understand why the blogs do what they do. When you ha you had the tabloids for many many years that did the same. Yeah, thing. but we didn't. But you, you got realize, but, the but, tabloids did but, the but, same but, thing. But, 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 the, but the, the were all that stuff was doing okay, so, the same so exact thing. I'm glad you thing. brought that up. Okay, so when Hammer was going through his thing, and I was, and and we weren't getting paid, and we was having the fights and all that. I had to get a job at, um, I started, I was still going to Capitol Records, I was still going to kick it, going in there. And I went in there one time with, uh, with a, uh, I had to work for UPS. I still, my song's still on the radio. Still, still kind of number one. Still. Which song? Gangsta Lean. Gangsta Lean. You know what I'm saying? And I was just starting to do the Jason's Lyric soundtrack. I'm, I'm, I walk into the office at Capitol with my, with my UPS uniform on, and they start laughing. I'm like, oh, is it Halloween? I said, no. I said, I gotta eat, don't I? And they were like looking at me like I was crazy. Now, Jamie Brown had a magazine called uh, Right On and Sister Sister. All of a sudden, in the magazine, it was told about Hammer's Finance, what's going on with Hammer's Finances. One of his artists, uh, when they saw him in a UPS uniform, was asking, why was he, you know, you got a, number, you got a big song, why are, you, uh, why are you in the uniform? He said, I gotta eat, don't I? So one of them executives, I know who it was, got told, told it. Told it. Sold the information. Yes, sold the information. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.